I got a DM recently and she said, I'm so happy you're doing all this color. Black is so boring. I thought, hey, nobody's putting me in a box. Black is never boring. Especially when done with ultra suede pants from the 90s with car wash fringe at the bottom. Okay, I needed to throw something on while we discussed the pants. Hey, look at these. Right? Genuine Tonaby. They're kind of odd because they have a really long crotch, but that's okay because with the wide leg and the sweep of the thing, it almost looks like a maxi skirt. And heads up, maxi skirts are gonna be huge for spring summer. My fabulous architectural Marques Almeida sweater, of which I have three. You don't need the sweater to make it cool, but you do need different plays on textures when you're going black on black. Let's define my waist with a vintage 90s Donna Karen belt. I'm obsessed with these lately. You see, when you put an oversized sweater, any oversized sweater that's not too thick with a tight waist belt, it makes a peplum. And that's interesting. Another way to add interest is a fantastic brogue. Look at the scallops in the leather. A door! Classic black with a tweak of something is what makes this interesting. I love a menswear brogue with a wide-legged pant or maxi skirt where you can see the ankle. You see that? There's a tiny bit of skin there. It makes the hem of the pants so much more interessant. I found these large dome clip-ons in a market. Honestly, the way I acted, it would be like I found a Rolex on the ground. Pulls up my cheeks, gives me some light. Let's commit to the severity and austereness with an interesting black bag and hardly any jewelry. Now is this black look boring? I think not. Okay, I'm cracking a little bit. This is not black, but she is fabulous. The final accoutrement. So just to wrap up, when choosing your blacks, find interesting pieces. Because interesting pieces will never go out of style, always look chic, and keep you smiling. Have a good day.